Welcome back everybody. My name is Andrew and I'm Tiffany and you're watching the Kelly's Outdoors and yes It's been quite a while since we've made a video like this or really any video <laughs> uh, We've been so busy on our other channel building our house and developing our property We just haven't had a whole lot of time to come spend outdoors But by far our most popular videos on the channel are crabbing videos and we've just got to talking about it the other day She happened to have a middle of a weekday off I said, let's go down here and do some crabbing. Now it's August in Florida, it's burning up hot. We're gonna do the best we can to stay out here long enough. We're looking for maybe eight or 10 crabs. That's good enough for us. And then we can go home, bowl them up and uh, make supper. And we'll include that on this video as well. So we're gonna show you how we catch blue crabs down here in Florida. Okay, so for starters, very simple. Just grab some old PVC pipe, wooden sticks. It really doesn't matter. Tie some twine on it. I've cut little grooves in mine now so I can wrap it around. It just makes things nice and tidy. And we are gonna try a new bait this time, chicken necks. So you see I have ice in there to throw my crabs on. And we're gonna try these chicken necks because a lot of people have said that's one of the best baits you can use. And we just finally found a store locally that carries these. They supposedly hold up really well or tough and the crabs can't just destroy them immediately. So let's see how well this works. So we'll just tie a couple overhand knots on that chicken, dangle that down, tie up these other two, and then we're gonna chunk them in the water. Very simple process for these crabs. All right, so you can take these pipes and stick them in the ground, or if you happen to have a spot like this, just prop them up. Throw that piece of chicken out, let it sink. Now a lot of fish and stuff are gonna try to get it, but what you're ultimately looking for is when this string goes taut. As in, you can see the fish pecking at it right now, doing that, but once this uh, actually gets to the bottom, a lot of times you'll watch the string walking off one direction or another, or you'll see steady tugs. And that's usually a crab when that's happening, and you can actually grab a hold of this string slowly pull it in which is going to be difficult here with all these rocks and then we have long nets where you will actually pick up the crab so you're not hooking or doing anything you're just gently pulling it in and a lot of times when i'm walking around just go ahead and be looking these crabs will run up and down the bank or they'll be stuck on the sides of rocks and you can go ahead and scoop them up that way but i see a crab right here i just don't know that i can get to it He actually, oh no, he actually went in it for me. Look at there. <laughs> so sometimes you can just walk around and get crabs like this. And we're slowly learning the sexes. We are allowed to keep males and females here in Florida before everybody panics, but we cannot keep females that bear eggs. So I don't know if you can see how the bottom of that one is pointy. That shape that's in the center of the crab, that is a male. But like I said, here in Florida, we're able to keep whatever we want as long as they do not have eggs, which is your female. But it is a good practice to uh, throw the females back. Uh-oh, look at there. Tiffany's already got one. All right, we're on fire today. Did you get that off of the meat or? Nope, he was just sitting, sitting on a rock. Down here. Awesome. <laughs> here, that's, another, that. that's another good one, yeah. And my string over there, uh-oh. They already yeah. took they took the chicken neck completely off. By the way, your string is walking. Okay. That's not a fish. We are eating so there is another male. Yeah, this is already starting out really good. That's plenty good eating size. Now the little GoPro with the wide angle lens makes them look small sometimes. So if you put them on ice, they get nice and lethargic. And I always leave my drain open because you don't want them to actually get down in water as ice melts because that will kill them and you want your crabs alive. So there we go. So we need to just walk around and keep looking for crabs. One in, you are? Okay. So Tiffany thinks she's pulling one in. Let me show you how this process works right here. Let me walk down there. So we've seen our line walking off. That's usually not a fish when it slowly moves to the left or right. And you just gently pull this in this is how you handline your crabs. 
That's gonna be difficult to do around all these rocks. Oh, yeah. I see one on it. So she'll pull it in with one hand, scoop it with the other, or sometimes you can just have somebody help you scoop and somebody pull. There may actually be two on, oh my goodness, that is a really, really, really good sized crab. Don't spook it. Pull it way up there to the left, get your net behind it. Look at there, perfect. Absolutely perfect. That worked beautiful. Yeah. That's just how you get them in. Now that one's only got one claw, but that's okay. That's another male. All awesome, right. so get that chicken out of there. Hey, hey, if he'll up. let it go, here. So this is already starting out great. We've only been here a few minutes and we are loading up on a bunch of decent sized crabs. Here we go. Got another one. Yep. Yep, just fish. We'll leave it right out there and see if it attracts a crab. Meanwhile, I'm gonna keep walking since we're getting very lucky by just walking around. You don't even have to have string and chicken. You can just come away, just bring you a good pair of water shoes so you don't get cut on all this uh, nasty sharp stuff right here. It'd be a bad day. You get infected pretty easy with this. Right here, here's another one but it's around a bunch of rocks. Got it, All right, I dropped it, now I got it. That one is pretty small and that is a female. So you see the backside, that apron, that center part of the crab, how wide it is. That's a little female, so I tell you what, we'll put her back, let her breed. Supposedly they can only breed once in their lifetime, whereas males can continually breed. So here's one right here in front of this rock. Not a huge one. Let's see here, he doesn't know which way it wants to go. All right, right into my net. Awesome. Another male. There's a little one right there. Looks like it's got a fish. Oh my goodness, there is a huge, huge crab right there, but it's in a bunch of rocks. Got some big old, yeah, that's a good one. It's another male. I mean, as big as I made out to be the camera, but it's got some nice claws on it, and that's what I'm really after. So, yeah, we're going to eat that one. I just spooked off another decent one over here, man. We need to come chunk some chicken over here. Ah, right, she says she's got three crabs on one piece of chicken. Let's go see if we can double or triple up. Well, don't let me spook them getting down there. Oh wow, okay. That is several. Fighting for it, fighting for it. Yeah! Oh, don't fling them way out there. No, but he was trying to get out. <laughs> so I just Woo! didn't miss that. Sorry, I didn't get the footage. But she had several fighting over that piece of chicken right there. Let's see what we got. Another male. And that one about pinched me. What do we got there? Make sure. Another male, and he's actually missing the bottom. That little apron. All right, we just about got a mess and we ain't been here long. Okay, she just threw the chicken in and said she's already got another crab running up here. This was the third crab that was fighting for the chicken, but it hit up underneath the rock and it's trying to take it back to the rock. All right, let's see there. Yeah, he, he's being really aggressive. He looks like he's edible. 
I would get over there and try to get y'all better footage, but I don't want to spook it. I'm gonna let him get a little bite. He's so hungry. Don't move. He may walk right in the net to try to get it. I got a horse fly bite. I know. Oh no. Alright. He's coming up here to get that chicken right now. Look at him. As soon as they get it and get him a little bite, they can't hardly focus on anything else. There we go. Good back up here. Alright, that is a female. Ooh, I gotta get some bug spray on. So just keep that chicken out of the water. Yes, that's a good crab, and it's a male too. Really nice size claw. And there's another one right there. So what do you got? Let me guess, a crab? All right, that's a male, single claw. Mine's bigger. <laughs> I'm gonna dump him in there because there's another one right here. Okay. I ain't seen on him forever, and all of a sudden I've seen two or three. Go back down here and see if that one is still here if I've spooked it. I see it, but I don't think it's big enough. Let's see here. I got it. It's another male. Single claw. So I'm gonna see if I can show you all the difference between not being polarized and polarized. Hopefully y'all can see. See the rocks down there now? Take the glasses off. Still see them, but hard to see around them. Come back to polarized. Man, oh man, you can see a whole lot more stuff. And as always before we leave a place, it's best to go ahead and pick up some trash. No way I can pick and clean up all this. And I don't do this for praise. I do this because I hope that this inspires other people to maybe pick up a little every time they go. If everybody would do this, a place would get a lot cleaner. But what we really need to happen is everybody take their trash back that they bring down here. What ticks me off to no end, trash thrown all right here, and there's trash cans right here. Just That's just pure laziness, no excuse. We actually have quite a few crabs, but we're just gonna hit a few spots along the way. Let's see if we can pick up one or two more. We don't even really need to throw out chicken. We could probably just hit enough spots, walk and look, and catch a crab running off like one right there. But that one looks pretty small. Too small, go back. I think it's the littler of the two. Oh, look right here to my left. That's a good one, give me the net. Let that one eat right there. All right, we'll get this one back in the truck real quick, let that one keep eating. Ha ha, that worked out great. Pulling it in. There's two. There is. One's real small. Yeah, one is really, really small. They both may be small. Yeah, let's see if we can get them both. Two crabs. Both are very, very small, and they're both females. All right, so here is the score for the day. I don't really know how many we got. Probably somewhere between 14 to 16 some really good claws on some of these they're all nice and chilled out on ice just sitting on top of it all right so what we're about to do is record the drive out of here it's such a pretty drive we do that every time and we're going to head back to the house right now clean these up and uh 
kind of scraped some stuff together. <laughs> we, we're not as prepared as we should yeah. be for this. Just shot down here today. We're gonna go start digging in the freezer, see if we can find some sausage and corn and kind of make a low country bowl out of this, our favorite way to eat them. So let's head back to the house real quick and get these ready to go. We're gonna do this nice and quick because it is extremely late. We come home to a severe, and I mean horrible thunderstorm, flash flood warnings, yards underwater, lightning and everything. It's been going on for a couple of hours, so it's already almost dark. I'm gonna get these crabs out of the cooler into my big sink in here, hose them all down, try to get as much mud and debris off of them as I can because we're gonna boil these whole this time. Last time I took them out of the ice when they're lethargic like this, pop the shell off, clean the guts and everything out and oh my goodness the people went crazy I, I don't know why it gives you a cleaner crab in there no meat come out in the bowl but I guess we're gonna go back and do it the traditional way of boiling alive and whole now I like using barbecue tongs so I don't get pinched and that allows me to see if they're alive and I can discard do not ever eat any crab that appears to be dead now keep in mind when they're on ice like this they are very lethargic, so make sure you look at them. So normally I would do this outside, but with it popping lightning and going crazy on me, no. So as you can see, we wound up with a good mess of crabs here. Plenty for us to eat tonight and tomorrow. I'm going to hose them all off and try to get the mud and nastiness off of them before we cook these. All right, y'all, I apologize. It is getting so late, and we're keeping the lights down on the porch because we're dealing with a major bug migration right now. I don't want them getting in everything. But as you can see, we wound up with some pretty decent-sized crabs. I did find two that didn't make the trip home, so I had to dispose of them. Again, I do not ever recommend eating dead crab, but you can look at the size of the claws on some of these. I think we wind up, it was somewhere around 16 plus, it looked nice. like. Nice, so we're gonna so, eat good. Yes, we are. So let me show you the setup we got out here. Like I said, we're keeping one light low, so the recording's gonna be horrible. So how I do it is I've got one cup of white vinegar in there, actually a cup and a half. Some water, we're about to put some seasonings in there. So we buy this at our local store, it's Louisiana Fish Fry Products, but it's a whole bag of shrimp and crawfish, crab bowl seasoning. We're gonna put this in there. Once everything comes to a boil, add our potatoes, let them boil about 10 minutes, then add our corn. We'll put uh, lemons in there too to begin with to kind of uh, get a lot of flavor in the water. Then we'll add some onions. And then the last thing that we'll add is the crab. And as soon as they turn bright red, we pull them out, we dump all this in a big pan and we go to feasting. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a link down in the description. We just did a crab video, what was it, last year before, and I did this same exact cook. So probably no point in repeating it right now. So watch that if you wanna watch the end of it. And I had clear, bright daylight, good recording light, and show step-by-step -step how uh, we actually prepare these. That link will be down in the description on YouTube. I think it'll be up in the description on Facebook. They kind of move things around on me. Uh, and then we'll show that off. And I apologize, we couldn't help the thunderstorm. We got home and it's- Hey, at least it cooled it off. <laughs> it did cool it off, cause oh my gosh, we got fried yeah. today. But it, it was just horrible weather. As you can see, our entire porch and our new outdoor kitchen, everything is soaking wet. So we're gonna spend some time cleaning all this up as well. But hopefully y'all enjoyed the video. We'll do some more of these crabbing videos. They've been so popular on the channel. Mm -hmm. Thank y'all so much for watching. And like I said, I'll add a couple more of those videos if you want to come along with us on some journeys that we took in the past. Catch you on the next video.